Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a vision board using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Vision boards are a great way to visualize your goals and dreams. They can help you stay focused on what you want to achieve in life. A vision board video is a great way to share your vision with others, and Doodly makes it easy to create one. You can use vision boards for anything you want to achieve in life, whether it's a personal or professional goal. For example, you can use it to visualize your dream house, your ideal job, your perfect vacation, or even what your retirement might look like. First, you'll need to gather some images that represent what you want to achieve. You can use Doodly's built-in assets, or you can download some stock images from a free site like Pixabay. Today, I'm going to create a vision board for a new home. This way, I can communicate what I have in mind with my partner as well as with my realtor. Since this is a personal vision, there really are no rules. You can be as creative as you want. I have this character that is kind of representing me, and I'm dreaming of a dream house. You can see that because I've got the little thought bubble which kind of represents dreams. And of course, I want to get rid of this little stock title here I had for you guys. So I'm going to change my title. Pam's dream. And this is going to be my opening sequence. Now I have a little background graphic I put in there. It's, it's, you can see it's just kind of geometric patterns that I found somewhere online, probably Pixabay. And that's just my background for this opening scene. I don't want it to be three seconds, so I'm going to change that. And I'm going to change all of my timing here. So I'm going to have two seconds for my character, one second for my speech bubble, um, my house, probably one and a half seconds. And I'm going to click the little pencil icon and make it fade on by choosing fade. Save and return. And then for my little keys here. I think one and a half seconds is fine. And then timing on my title is probably fine. And I'm going to put it as the first thing that comes on. Let's take a quick look. Pam's dream house. There's Pam. There's the thought bubble. Here's the house and the keys. I'm going to go to settings. This is what I always do. And I'm going to turn erase mode off. I don't like the erasing of it. So you click the little add new scene button. And since this is my dream house, I need some photos of my dream house. What of the things that I am looking for. So bear with me. I'm now at pixabay.com. This is where you can get royalty free images and I've typed in house exterior. So I want to find a house that kind of represents what I'm looking for. So let's just look. Okay, I'm back. I've gathered some of my photos and I'm going to now upload them. So I want to make sure I'm in my props tab and we click on this blue plus sign and we're going to browse for files. They're in my downloads folder because I just downloaded them and here they are. And you'll see I have a variety of views of different houses. So we're going to start with the exterior. So I've got my front of the house here, and then I also have the back of the house here. Okay, so remember these are just representative of things that we're looking for. So they, they don't necessarily have to be the same house, okay? This is just, like I say, a vision board. So I've got my two views here, and I want to add some text saying what I'm looking for. So we'll go to the text tab, and we're going to say, let's just grab a font here. So let's do that. Let's change the color of the text here. So you can just double click, highlight your text, Click the little palette. I'm going to choose white so it pops against this grass. And then I'm going to use a little arrow. So I'm going to go rid of props. Now I'm going to select my photos and I'm going to click the pencil icon and I'm going to choose the fade mode once again. And 
I'm going to make it just a one second fade. Don't need to spend a lot of time on it. Do the same with this one. And one second. Now, timing wise here. Okay, the, the photo of the pool home comes in later. So we're going to start with our house. We're going to write wrap around porch first. So let me find that. That's right there. And then the arrow for the wrap around porch is which one is it? This one. So that needs to be here. And then we're going to write in apartment over garage. And then we want to make sure we have the right arrow pointing so there. And then we're going to have the pool home come on. And then we're going to write pool is a must and then the arrow is going to point to that and then at the end we're going to put just a couple seconds at the end and that'll be fine so let's do another scene and we go back to our props and you'll notice that since i did a search my recently uploaded props are no longer here so what do you do that can be kind of frustrating because you can't really adjust the sort so I'm going to go back to my downloads folder and I'm going to look, how is it named? Okay. So living room, architecture, bath, kitchen. Okay. So I'm going to type in living room. Here's that photo. I'm going to type in architecture. Here's that photo. So now if we right click, we get this new option here, align, and I want to align them to the scene. And I want to distribute them horizontally, like so. And I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna go with that, let's deselect them. And just, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit. So I want some white space on this side. This gives me an, a unique look, and I think that looks kind of cool. And we're going to go back and we're going to find my character and it's Mercy. And let's have her with an arrow pointing and then holding a sign. And we're going to flip that so she's pointing this way. And that looks nice. So now we want to add a little bit of text. Now we don't have to describe every single image because as the saying goes, a picture tells us a thousand words. So we're just going to kind of highlight some of the things. So views, you'll notice all of these have nice views. So that's important. And then maybe we want to say something about the home office. Okay. So that kind of tells the story of what she's looking for for the interior. So let's get our timing done. Again, I am going to have all of these fade on. So I'm just clicking that pencil, choosing fade, save and return. It's a little tedious. You do need to do these one at a time. One thing we no longer have to do one at a time, thanks to the new update, is when we we can select multiple assets at once so i selected all of my photos and now if i go to the little gear icon and under enter animation duration instead of three seconds you know i like one second for these fades so i do that one second hit apply and that's going to apply it to all of the ones i selected so see it changed them all and that's really nice and then my two characters here, I want them, oh, let's say one and a half seconds each. So again, I can do the same thing. This time I'm gonna right click, click settings, and it takes me to the same spot. So that's just another way you can do it. And then I probably want views to be drawn on right after the arrow sign is drawn on. And then like that, let's give it some time at the end. We're gonna just call this the end of our video. I could go on and on and on, but I think you get the idea here. So over here for extra time at the end, let's just give it a good seven seconds. And that's basically it. If you wanted, you could add some music. You could even add a voiceover if you want to talk about the things that you're interested in. 
So let's just take a quick look and we will be done. So here I am dreaming of a dream house and that's my opening sequence. And here we go. As you can imagine, this would be really helpful to share with your realtor because then they know kind of what you're looking for. And that's the basics of how you can use Doodly to create a vision board of your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.